Okay, so uh, welcome to the stream and uh, explanation of uh, an exploit uh, to get yourself ranked up in the new uh, Mike Force uh, servers or um, game in the system a little bit. So when you sign in, you just got a duty officer sign in as, um, let's say, I don't, I don't know, a Green Hornet or a Mike Force and then call in a bunch of tasks. So for, I'm going from the Castle main base all the way finish. up to um, the current zone, which is over here. So what I've done is given myself um, a bunch of tasks all the way through uh, every major turn. Um, so that when I get there, all I have to do is it's basically an ammo, a supply of ammo. So I'm in a tank, I've put in one ammo supply, and every time I get to one of these checkpoints, all I need to do is jump out of vehicle for like two seconds and that will complete that waypoint. So it basically gives you set waypoints to go all the way around the map, gives you a route to follow and it also ranks you up. So by the time I get there I would have completed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 I've just done one already, so 11 um, t tasks and each one of those will get me RP. So let's get on with it. You can actually um, do this with a bunch of stuff, so if you put down three waypoints and you, each waypoint is uh, a task uh, for a different supply, say medical supplies, ammo supplies and food supplies, if you have each one of those in your vehicle, which you can do in a tank because it's not a uh, capacity, then when you jump out of your vehicle each waypoint, um, you complete three tasks, so okay, that's really gaming the system, but more than I need to do, I'm already a colonel. Took me half an hour to get Colonel status using this uh, exploit. And I think to uh, complete the task, you just have to be within 100 meters of the uh, task waypoint. So uh, you don't need to unload the ammo or anything. All you need to do is basically get within 100 meters of the waypoint and then uh, step out of your vehicle for a second and it should uh, complete it. So there we are, we're okay, within 100 metres, let's get out. And... Oh. Right then. Proving me wrong. I'm making an idiot out of my armour. Let's try that again. Yeah, a little bit close, let's take it within 50 metres. Alright, there we go. So yeah, maybe it's less than 100 meters. So, okay. Let's get back in. Next waypoint uh, is north of the base. So basically got to go through the base, out the other side. And up this road, I can just take this road around. Take the uh, circuit road, so I go back a bit. Let's know what you're doing. What's the chances that by the time I actually arrive at the uh, FOB, it's going to be cleared. that I found with this map is um, it's very difficult uh, to run it as um, armoured because there's very few bridges. Uh, it's a long long way to get to most of the uh, uh, operation areas here because you can't get across this river anywhere down here. That's the closest bridge there. It gives me more opportunity to take care of these things. 
So I'm doing a right here, follow the road up, next right. And, uh, obviously as an engineer build bridges but uh, I've been having real problems with that I can build almost any structure but for some reason I always uh, seem to have problems with bridges never seem to be able to quite reach across the river or need a lot more supplies than I can usually carry It's in a convoy with some of the trucks carrying more equipment and stuff, but uh, yeah, I think there's six people on the uh, server at the moment, and as usual with TFA, most of those have jumped into uh, F4s and uh, Hueys, going for the glory and the kill count. That's what happens when you're uh, in a group that's uh, annexed to a DCS group, I guess. Nobody wants to be a fly by the Is out again, so I'm sure it's worked too far from this silent distance, maybe it just takes a bit of time. 84 metres. So the tank's 84 metres away. How close do I have to get on foot before it will actually uh, proc? Yeah, maybe it's changed a little bit, I'm pretty sure it's not too far from it. Oh, there we go, no, it just takes a bit of time. So there you go, just need to be within a reasonable range. Next one. It's a funny old road. So, main road, big U turn. Okay. Oh, I've got myself settled safe following all the roads. Take like some shortcuts. Nice, we got a temple over there. I've seen that before. So the good thing about doing this method is you get to explore the map a little bit. See some stuff you don't get to see when you just go into all the uh, hot zones all the time. That's an old Khmer fortress by the look of it. Sound. 
did a good job with this uh, little jar head, had something to do with that. Seems as he's uh, involved in the development of this uh, entire SOG thing. Um, I'm assuming there's never going to be any GSR this uh, mods required because it's already built in, which is absolutely freaking awesome. Just let's get airborne this tank as well. I haven't had any really bad um, armor flippy tank shit that's going on with it, but it does uh, take to the air quite a bit when you hit a bump at speed. It's kind of fun. Next, please. Right, can we get across here? Split straight like this. You got it. Lovely. Oh, I know that bridge. Oh, I fought some battles on that bridge. And under it. Sure, been had a uh, good old battle there last week. Sure, been as in the player on the uh, tank. Spikers trees, they're so well detailed. Beautiful. Good job where we did them. Apart from the ones that have got sniper towers in, of course, not like those ones. Thousands of listeners. We're going to have to uh, lose the tank engine for a bit so I can hear what the uh, radio comes at. Come on! Fat Betty, I'm going to call this tank. You can do it, darling. Get up there. What is that? Oh shit, minefield? You shitting me? The fuck is a minefield doing here? Why is there a minefield here? Oh dear. Let's hope they're an anti personnel and anti tank. Oh, snakes as well. Right. I'll jump out and get this one completed just in case I uh, am about to die. Let's have a look. I guess, yeah, it's uh, been a battle zone. I guess that's why there's mine signs, whether there's actually any mines or not. I'm not sure. Mark it just in case. How are they doing with that zone? Yeah, they pretty much got it cleared already. Prepare for attack. Destroy sites. I can't see any sites. They're probably having a problem with this zone being too close. Uh, where are they going next? I guess they're going to go straight after that one. Uh oh, what happened to Mr. King? Ah oh well, keep going. Nearly there now. Oh my look, they'll choose a uh, 
the zone right on the opposite end of the map, just as I get there. They might have solved this already, I don't know if like, uh, this exploit is now gone because I haven't seen any um, RP points uh, drop in it. I haven't been looking actually, but only get a little white marker down the bottom right corner of the screen every time you complete a task to say that you're getting some RP. I'm in my tank, yes I am, and I'm unapologetic about it. Oh, I don't like uh, elephant grass by the way, when you're in vehicles, um, you get inside elephant grass, it treats it like you're in a building, I'll demonstrate to you. You go and you lose your view completely. Like that. Which is a pain in the ass. I mean, normally in vehicles I'm always uh, in first person view, but that's just something. I nah. I mean, you can um, zoom in a little bit and move it up and down if you want to, but yeah, that, well, that's it. That's as much adjustment as you get in uh, this vehicle. And yeah, nah. But the jeeps and the trucks and everything, I always do it in first person, uh, get the zoom in just right on a windscreen and it's, it's yeah, really nice. Oh, whatever the next um, hot zone is, it's not uh, going to be mountainous. Where's Auburn at? What's he doing down there? If he's in need of a lift. Uh, oh, when you want comes. Auburn, oh, you copy. Okay, he's walking in. Done it a little bit in the map with the uh, elephant grass because it's not well. No, maybe it was back then, but it's definitely not that common now. Hard to find any. I think it's pretty hard to find any ficus trees as well because uh, I've been replaced by rubber and palm oil. Lots of bamboo though. That shit likes to grow. stuff like that as well. Big forests of that round where I live. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, you just look at this outside you get a much better idea of like how steep this terrain is. Which is why I'm having a bit of a problem getting up here. So yeah, apologies tank, I didn't mean to call you fat. I had a problem getting up there myself.
we're doing it. We're doing it. Let's have a look quickly. Um, somewhere rank 812. Still got poison and diarrhea. I've got no idea how I get rid of that. I've had that for a long, long time. And I guess that's probably why my uh, food and water's going down. Hmm. So 812, let's see what it's at after I um, Jump us over. drop this. Go ahead, Robin. I would need a pickup. I die to a landmine. Afraid, currently pinned down. Copy that. Robin, are you Copy receiving that. me? Disregard last then. It's oh, weird why well, nobody seems to be picking up my comms for some reason. 5.1, they can hear everybody else, but nobody can hear me. I've had that issue before. Good. Oh, there you go. There was 10 RP for that. Uh, it was proking, so there we that, That's the last one. So we are up to 822, rank 822. That's not too bad. Um, things on. Well, I should have checked before I started, really, shouldn't I? But that's yeah, very good way to uh, rank up um, because absolutely nobody puts tasks in the uh, request tasks missions for uh, uh, armored cav. Um, they do for uh, cas runs and everything like that, but nobody puts anything in there. So if you want a job done, you got to do it by yourself. <laughs>